Hey guys, it's Lunar here, and welcome back to another Skyrim console mod video. I hope you all had an awesome Christmas. I definitely did. Let me know in the comments what you did get for Christmas as well. Also guys, maybe in a few days I will give you an update for the channel on what kind of videos are going to be coming out over the next year or so, and it's pretty much just the same as it is now, but there might be some different changes. I haven't quite decided yet, so I will let you know. Today's video, however, is all about console mods, and we have eight to look through. Some of them are not quite brand new, as they have been out for a couple of days as we were on a break, but we will catch up to the new mods in no time. Anyway, we can just start on today's first mod. Our first mod of the day is the Smithing Supplies Chest Tweaks. The mod adds Smithing Supply Chest near the forge of each town and village with a blacksmith. Each has three chests, one for the Thane of the Hold, for the town or village they are in, and two owned by residents or guard who reside there. The chests have a chance to have armour, weapons, ingots, ore, and loads of other stuff relating to crafting. To unlock the Thane's chest, use the player home key received after you become Thane, and buy a home, and all the other major cities that come with a purchasable player home. Overall, this mod is just designed to give a nice and little reward for becoming Thane of each hold, and for you to get some extra stuff to lockpick and steal if you are in the blacksmith area of any of these towns and cities. Our second mod of the day is a small mod, but a nice one called Dwemer Dog Companions. The companions are not just regular dogs though, as they can talk. So the mod adds three Dwemer dog companions with sounds and voices to the Salvius farm near Markarth. The male dog has dwarven centurion sounds and has the male dark elf voice. The female dog has dwarven spider sounds and has the female dark elf voice. And the pup doesn't have any voice but it makes the dwarven sphere sounds. So if you're looking for an alternate companion who is more mechanical, then this mod is perfect for you. Our next mod is another simple one called Skyhaven Armory Overhaul. All this mod does is make changes to the armory in the Skyhaven Temple. It's done this by adding a fully working blacksmith called Jodok, who is also a blade. All the blacksmith crafting stations have been added. It's renamed the Blade Sword to Akavari Katana. It's added a new Blade's Great Sword called Akaviri Dai Katana. And also, Blade's armor is now on display. And as a final touch, all the items in the armory will respawn to make it look like that Jodok is actually a working blacksmith. So that's a cool touch. The mod overall is a cool one to give Skyhaven Temple more life and purpose to it. And the mod author plans to overhaul the entire of the Skyhaven Temple eventually to make it look even cooler. Our next mod is by an author we will be seeing a lot of in the next week or so as he has released a whole bunch of cool mount related mods and some other cool ones as well. We have two in today's video, starting with one called Armored Horses. This is a very cool immersive mod, well for me anyway, and adds to the game for summonable armored horses for you to ride. They are regular armored horse, the long armored horse, a leather armor, and ebony armor version. The regular one is actually Shadowmere. If you're looking to get them, then all of the books for them can be purchased from Faringer in Dragon's Reach. Having armored horses is something that definitely makes Skyrim more realistic, and so this mod is definitely worth checking out. Or at least until one of the bigger horse armor mods is released anyway. The Imperials have opened all border gates of Skyrim, now explorers can travel to new areas looking for new mysteries and chests. By this it means the five border gates in the game have had their borders extended slightly and so you now you can explore a new area at each one. Be careful though, each area has more than just treasure. Each also has a new boss to fight. So the new locations are White Mountain, Pinewood, Forest Fall, which is the one that I am in the video, Volcanic Islands and Wasteland. And the new bosses are the Giant Barbarian, the Queen Witch, King Horker, Blackbeard Pirate, and the Barbarian Foreman. The mod doesn't add a lot, but it does add in some extra content for you to do in-game, and also all of these bosses have some good loot on them as well. Our next mod is another one by GG77, who made the Horse Armor mod. This mod is similar to a mod we looked at the other day, called Summonable Mounts. Well, this mod is called Monster Mount, and it adds to Skyrim 64 summonable creatures for you to use as your means of transport. And I definitely prefer this one over the summonable mounts that we looked at previously. There are too many to look through in this video, but you can get some cool things like trolls, frost spiders and werebears, lions, sharks and even a triceratops to ride on, along with pretty much all the regular animals and enemy beasts in game like wisps, wolves, dogs, mud crabs, vampires and even dragons. So a really cool mod and definitely one you should consider downloading. Although be careful as the way that this mod works, it just simply adds all of these creatures just lying around on the south of Whiterun. So if you have any mods that alter this kind of area, such as the people of Skyrim, then this will conflict with that mod and it did actually make my game crash. So just remember that when you install this mod. Our final PS4 mod of the day is a mod that has actually been out for a month or so on Xbox One. It has been updated and also released now for PS4, so we can cover it. Also, I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure I have not gone over this mod before. I've done so many I kind of lose track, but we will go over it anyway. 
The mod is meant for late game, or in a level 50 or higher player, as some of the monsters are quite difficult to defeat in this one, and is definitely more challenging than the base Skyrim. It includes elements that might break the rules of the usual level design. Some features are about a dozen new detailed cells, new spells, and new items. So it's basically just a quest that gives you a new area to explore, which is quite fun. Where do you start the quest? Well, if you go northwest of Markarth and southwest of Ragenwald and kind of head up the mountain area, you will find a cabin which allows you to start the quest. Overall, even if the PS4 edition doesn't have as many features as the Xbox One, Jerkholm is still a really cool place to explore, and this mod is definitely worth downloading and checking out for yourself, especially as I really like fighting Dramora, and there's loads of Dramora and loads of difficult enemies for you to kill in this dungeon. Our final mod is a brand new way to travel around in game, and what better way to travel around Skyrim than inside of a TARDIS? The mod adds to the game a working TARDIS for you to discover and travel around. Go inside and activate the controls and power her up, and travel throughout space, not so much time, and every time you do, you're transported to a brand new location for you to explore. I think the destination it chooses is random, although there are navigational controls, I can't quite figure out how to use them, they may just be broken for now. After all, newer mods always have some bugs. But that doesn't take away from the fact that this is a really cool mod, and a really fun way to play the game. Enlist the help of a companion, and just explore wherever the TARDIS happens to take you. The only thing that this mod doesn't have is somewhere inside of the TARDIS to live, as I would love to live inside of here. But I like the mod a lot regardless if you can live inside it or not. I think I'm definitely going to keep this one installed for now. I always need to explore new places and random locations just for videos, and I'm just going to go wherever the TARDIS takes me from now on. So expect to see some of the TARDIS in future videos. Well guys, there we have it, 8 brand new console mods for Skyrim Special Edition on PS4 and Xbox One. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments, and as always, like and subscribe. In case you're wondering, I have not missed the Fenderic's Magic World mod, I am actually going to make a separate mod showcase for it. I'm planning to make more mod showcase videos on any mod that kind of gets more than say 100 ratings on Bethesda after a couple of days, and this one already has 175 and is a 5 star rating, and it's a really big mod and it seems perfect for my next single mod showcase. So I'll be releasing that whenever it's finished, most likely tomorrow. As always guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all next time for more Skyrim Special Edition. See you all then. Oh. <laughs>